more information into your CRM is always a good thing. And most of our clients use HubSpot. So we were very happy to see that Microsoft Clarity announced a way that you could sync the Clarity information into HubSpot. So this video will show you a little bit of what Clarity can do, but most importantly, how to set up the connection and what information you can import from Clarity into HubSpot. I'm starting off in our Microsoft Clarity account. I'm not gonna spend a ton of time in Clarity because we already have a video, even though it's a little bit older and it talks more in depth about setting up Clarity right here. But if you are brand new to this tool, I wanna show you the main benefit of what it can do because that ties into how you can connect it with HubSpot or why you may wanna tie it in with HubSpot. So the main benefit is if I go up to recordings is that you can watch how people interact and navigate around your website. Let me just choose this one. I'll just let this run for a little bit, but it really is screen grab recordings of someone who's visited the website. Now this particular one that I clicked, if you look over to the left, it's a minute and 42 seconds. You get to see what pages they visited, the country, notice that they were on a desktop, the one up above, you could see it's a mobile device. So it gives you some information. But to me, this is the benefit of Clarity. And it's so easy to set it up for free and install it on your website using Google Tag Manager. I do show you how to do that in the video I referenced to earlier. I also wanted to start here in Clarity because in order to do the syncing, you have to have an active Clarity project in order to sync it with HubSpot. So come to Clarity first. It's simple, it's just clarity.microsoft.com. A link will be in the video description and get one set up on your website or your client's website. Now that we have that squared away, let's go to HubSpot. Okay, now that we're in HubSpot, I wanna call out something else that's mandatory. In order to sync Microsoft Clarity with HubSpot, you need to make sure that you have contacts created. You can see I went into CRM and then there's contacts. So if you are absolutely brand new, just signed up to HubSpot, you might have to wait a little bit. Does it make sense? Because the whole reason why we're syncing these two platforms together is to see how our contacts that we have collected are interacting with our website. I'm not going to click on this because everything's gonna have to be blurred out with our actual contacts, but make sure you have your lists imported. If you've already been collecting data for years, whether manual imports, forms on your website, lead forms from Facebook, LinkedIn, whatever, most likely you're good to go. Okay, so now let's go through integrating Microsoft Clarity to HubSpot. First, we wanna find the settings icon, which is this gear up here. Now, if there's an easy way to find this, please let me know. I'm just going the route that I know how to go, because next we'll wanna to go to integrations and then connected apps. Now, we don't have it yet. This search is just for what we already have connected with our account. So we need to go to visit app marketplace. And now within the marketplace, we can search for Microsoft Clarity. There it is. So let's choose the app. And up here in the orange button, we can install it. Here, it opened up Clarity for us again. This is our homepage for Clarity because we do have access to multiple client Clarity accounts, but this one is for the PayMedia Pro site. So for this, I'm gonna go to the gear icon. That's our overview. We need to go to integrations here, and then we can connect Clarity to HubSpot. I know, a little bit of a runaround. Yes, we could start in Clarity first, but depending where you are, you can get there. So now we'll connect account. Yes, confirming the connect again. Here, making sure I'm choosing the right one. Jump down to the bottom, make sure I choose the account, agree to the terms, and then we can connect the app. So there we see HubSpot is integrated, great. If I go back into HubSpot, I'm back in the main general settings, which is the gear icon here. If I go back to connected apps, there we see Clarity is now connected to HubSpot. So that's a way for me to confirm it from both the Microsoft side and the HubSpot side. So far, so good. Now here's the part where it may or may not work for you. And that is confirming if a client has been on your website so you can review the recording. So let's head on to the CRM, go into contacts. I know almost all of this is blurred out, but we can't show you our contacts. So I'm actually gonna click on someone's name, head into this contact account. From the tabs at the top, we wanna go to activities, and then we can open up the filter activity. Here you will see a separate column for integrations. And now for this contact, we can add Microsoft Clarity. If I close out of this, if the user has visited the website, we have it recorded, they're one of your contacts, it would now show up here under all of the activity. Now, since Microsoft said it can take a couple hours for this information to start peering in HubSpot, I don't have a live one to show you right now, but I took the example that they shared within the announcement. So if everything is syncing properly, 
everything within the red box with Microsoft Clarity, you can view new recordings. Think of that video example I showed you in the very beginning. We can watch someone interacting with our website. Now you can see when specific contacts are doing that on their website, get a better understanding of what they're interested in. Now, besides waiting a couple hours for this to appear, you may not see it for every single contact, even if you know they've been to the website. A lot of people do set up Clarity with Tag Manager or some other tag firing tool. And just to be compliant in certain regions, some people don't fire specific tags until a user has accepted all cookies. If that's your setup and your contact does not accept those cookies, potentially Clarity won't fire and you won't be able to find that information within HubSpot. So just understand how your tags are firing and how you're capturing this information. It's not a guarantee. Sorry for the blurry image here. I wanted to make sure it was large enough. But Microsoft also states that you can verify if it's working by checking page views within the activity. Now, in order to do this, you need to make sure you have user identification set up. And I'll have a second link in the video description on how to set up user identification. But you can learn more about this page view check-in in the source link on the screen right now. Okay, and then to close this out, for whatever reason, if you don't want to sync these two platforms together, the way to disconnect it is to go back into Clarity. You can see up top here, I'm already in my settings. Go to your setup, and then you can choose to disconnect the integration. But we're not going to do that. This is too new. I want to play around with this a little bit more. But that's how easy it is to set up Microsoft Clarity with HubSpot. If you're already using the two platforms, why not do it? See what additional information you can find about contacts that you are hopefully collecting their information legitly. You may get enough information from your best buyers or your best leads on what they engage with. So either that could be the content you push, or you might get better understandings of how to improve your landing pages to try to get more users to perform the same types of actions as your best closed leads. If you have any information on how to sync these two platforms together, please let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the super thanks button.